be great to see the exact ads your competitors are running so you already have an idea of what's working. Correct, correct. Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how Facebook actually allows you to spy on your competitors so you can see the exact ads they are running. And I'm gonna walk you through the top five things you really wanna look out for when you're studying your competitors' ads. So how Facebook actually allows you to spy on your competitors is by utilizing the Facebook ad library. And I'm gonna link it in the description down below for you so you don't have to go hunting or searching for it. And I also recommend that you go pull it up and go through this with me because it's a lot easier to really understand what I'm saying if you have it pulled up and you're doing the research alongside this video. So you can definitely allow this information to really seep into your cerebellum, okay? Now, if you pull it up with me, you can see um, that one of the big initiatives that Facebook slash Meta uh, has like over the last couple of years, just their transparency. So literally you can see every single ad that's on their platform. And you can search by two things. The first one being location. So I'm located in the United States. Um, but if you have a brand that may be running ads outside of the United States, um, you know, you might be in UK watching this or Australia, Canada, uh, you can select the country. Uh, so that's dope. Um, and then also is by ad category. So maybe you're in real estate, maybe you're in you know financial credit, that type of thing, employment, maybe politics, you can do it that way. But I recommend just put all ads because you never know what your competitor's ad category is. And just to be safe, just make sure that you uh, do all ads, okay? So now what I'm going to do is pull up a couple of brands so I can walk you through step by step how you should be spying on your competitors and you know exactly what you should be looking for, okay? So the first brand I'm gonna pull up is World and Vision. Um, shout out to them, man. I really love what they're doing and a lot of their clothing brand uh, has been built from running ads. And so the first thing that you really wanna take a look at when you're doing your spying is the positioning of their ads, okay? And what I mean by positioning is what are they offering, right? Are they trying to get people to their email list? Are they trying to get people to buy a product? Like what are they selling in their ads? So if we look up World and Vision, and you should be seeing on the screen here, their positioning is, looks like, like let's just take this ad here. Um, so they're doing new tees, long sleeves, and stock now, starting at $7.99. These won't last forever. So this is a video ad. Let me see if I can get it pulled up. Let me see if it'll run. Sometimes it doesn't run, so dang, it won't pull up. But they're running a video ad to a low ticket, you know, product, okay? So that's one positioning here. I was like, okay, so take that down as a mental note if you have a clothing brand, right? Here, this ad, they're doing who wants a free hat? Add your favorite hat to your cart and use code BOGO hats. So they're doing a BOGO, right? Buy one, get one. So that's always good. New in stock, don't wait, secure yours. So this one, positioning is just standard. Just photo, image, and then new collection is going crazy. So they're just dropping new collections. You still up, we need your help. Which one of these is your favorite? So now they're surveying, right? So a lot of it is getting people in with a low ticket offer or doing a BOGO. So that's the positioning for this brand, right? And so this is good to see and take in, again, if you're a clothing brand or, you know, whatever brand or, or, you know, business that you're running, it's good to take in like, hey, this is what people are doing. This is what they're offering. This seems to be working and then run with that. So the second brand that I have pulled up here is Sour Strips. Shout out to Sour Strips. I love watching Max Tuning's content. And so it's cool when YouTubers, um, you know, create their own business. And so... Uh, this is in the food candy industry, right? And so the second thing that you want to take a look at is what platforms they are running on, okay? And so when you look at the platforms here that Sour Strips is running ads on, they're running ads to Messenger, Audience Network, 
Instagram and Facebook, okay? And when I scroll down, it looks like they're running across every single platform. But when you're doing your market research on competitors, you may notice that they're not running on every single platform. You may notice that they're only running ads on Facebook or they, they may be only running ads on Instagram or Messenger. So you really wanna study what platforms you know your competitors are running on so then you already have a leg up and don't waste money trying to run ads on Facebook or Messenger when you start to notice that you know the industry standard is a lot of people are just running their ads on Instagram. And so these are things that you wanna test for yourself, but if you start to notice that there's a standard of where people are actually running their ads, that's a good place to start testing. So the third brand I wanna pull up is Flintstone Vitamins because I know they have a very, very big ad budget and I used to love these vitamins as a kid. You wanna start to take a look at where is your competitors sending their traffic? Are they sending it to a landing page? Are they sending it to a shop now? So when you start to look at their creatives um, in their ad campaigns, start to do your research there. So for Flintstone Vitamins, they have this ad here, right? They're sending people to learn more. They're sending them to like a giveaway, right? Cool, makes sense. But then if you take a look at, you know, this creative here, you know, they're sending people, see ad details, right? They're sending people to shop now. And this is going to a Amazon store to buy the Flintstone vitamins, right? So start to take a look at what ads they're running, where they're sending this traffic. So you can start to see like, okay, maybe I should just be doing more like informational. Maybe I be, should be sending them to a landing page. Maybe I should just send them to a shop now page. Like start to see where they're sending their traffic so you have a good idea where you should start as well. And while we're here looking at this Flintstone account, you really wanna take a look at, which is my fourth thing, is what creatives are you know, your competitors running? Are they running video ads? Are they running static images? Like what type of creatives are they? Um, are they using influencers? So like here, with the Flintstones, they're using influencers in their ads. So you really wanna to start to take note what are you know the industry standards and really start to see, okay, videos seem to be working best in this industry. And I think videos in general would probably be your best bet across all social media platforms in general. But what type of video ads are they doing? How are they creating these ads? What do these ads look like? So really studying the creatives is very, very important to take a look at as well. So I have pulled up here a real estate uh, advertising account through Keller Williams. And so the fifth and final thing that you really wanna take a look at is what is the copy? What is the headlines in the ads? What are the call to actions? And so if you're looking at the copy here, right? Literally it's very simple in the real estate for this person is charming two-story residents in prime canyon county location get updates on homes just like this you know and it's a learn more like that's the call to action right everything is learn more remarkable park like setting in southeast boise is this your style get updates for homes like this in your area so it looks like they're just trying to funnel people into some type of retargeting or ad campaign to where you click on the landing page, you give your information, and then you give updates, right? And so if you start to notice this same sequence in your industry, especially if you're in real estate, then these are probably some type of ads that you wanna be running, right? And so really start to take a look at the call to action, start to look at the copy, and this will really, really help you create better ads. Now, if you need step-by-step -step training on how to set up your first Facebook ad, check out this video here.